Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Hope you're doing well. If you're a content creator, an entrepreneur, or a working mama, then you come to the right place. In this video, I will walk you step by step through my batch filming process. I will take you behind the scenes, I'll show you my setup, I'll walk you through my gear, and I will share gems of wisdom in the process. I'm a very busy working mama, so efficiency and productivity are my best friends. And today, I am filming my long form content for March 2020. If you're new to my channel, my name is Veronica. I'm a multi-passion entrepreneur, a content creator, and a boss mama. If you're interested to see how I capture my video content, then make sure you like this video and subscribe to my channel because I constantly share content creation tips to help content creators and entrepreneurs to stay on top of their content. It's going to be a very real, fun, and informative video. So make sure you watch this video till the very end, especially if you've been thinking about starting creating video content. So without further ado, let's jump right in. Today, I am filming three sit-down videos. So that means I need three different outfits. So it looks like they have been filmed on separate days. For the first video, I'm wearing this outfit. Then I have this shirt prepared and a pink scarf. Then I have this blazer, blue shirt, and a beige scarf, and one pair of jeans. As I go through the day, I will be switching my outfit. I will have a completely separate outfit for each video. Now I'm gonna walk you through my gear and get the first video set up going. My key camera is Canon ATD. I've been using this camera for a very long time. I've been using it for my photography business and now I use it a lot for my personal brand, for future generation apparel and to film my videos. The image quality is really good as long as the lighting is good. Very easy to use. It's a very solid DSLR. It lasted me for years and I'm sure it'll still serve me for many more years to come. This lens is Canon. 50 mil lens uh, it's really good really sharp lens uh, however you have to be standing further away from the camera for it to have a very nice frame size that's why for my sit down videos I usually use this standard kit lens it came with the camera I didn't have to buy it separately it's a standard 18 to 135 mil lens. It's really good. Once again, as long as the lighting is good. Another piece of equipment that I use all the time is this tripod. It's not a heavy duty tripod, it's just your standard tripod. The brand is Inca. I bought this tripod secondhand for $20 just under a year ago and it's been serving me really, really well. If you are a content creator, you definitely need to invest in a tripod so that you're not bugging your family members to take your photos or record your videos for you or you don't have to DIY a rig that might not be super leveled. One of the first investments you need to make as a content creator is invest in a tripod and they're really inexpensive and I'm telling you, you will get a good use out of it. With my Canon ATD, the image quality is great but the sound is horrible. The camera does have a video option, but it's not specifically made for video recording. The mic is just not great. That's why I choose to record my videos on a double system because having good quality sound is so important. Your sound can make it or break it. No matter how beautiful, no matter how cinematic the image is, if the sound is not good, if it's breaking, if it's speaking, if it's too quiet, if there is a lot of background noise, it's just not going to retain your audience. That's why I made a decision to invest in a podcasting mic. And I use this mic by Rode and it's a great mic it's really good quality I use it a lot for filming I record the sound of my live videos so I can repurpose it later it's just such a great investment I just connect it to my laptop and if you're a Mac user all you need to have is a garage band just plug it into the garage band and you will record good quality sound and then in the post-production process you just sync the image and the sound and there you have it you have a great image and a great sound and it's just win-win i will try and find all the links for the gear so you can check it out and see the prices of the gear but you can really get resourceful you can buy second hand and you can buy a really good quality gear second hand as long as you do thorough research and the camera i'm filming on now is 
GoPro Hero 8 Black and it's such a neat little camera that I use all the time. I use it a lot in my business. Um, active wear lifestyle brand for Generation Apparel. We shoot a lot of active stuff, lots of running. The camera has great stabilization, great quality. It shoots in 4K, it's very light. It's been such a great investment for us. The camera is waterproof. I have a special tripod for the camera as well. We've invested in this camera just a few months ago and we've just been blown away by the quality and by how much this little camera can do. The quality of sound is actually very decent considering it's a tiny action camera it only becomes an issue when it's super windy but other than that it's just great all you need is that little camera so I use this camera for filming as well but the majority of my sit down videos are filmed on a Canon ATD that's all of the gear that I use to capture my videos as for lighting I make sure I sit in front of the window and I use natural light I don't have any external lights right now because I usually film during the day and the lighting is really consistent in this room I film in here in front of a large window and that's how I roll right now I'm gonna get my first setup going and I'll get straight into filming my very first video I am all set and ready to go to film video number one. What I love about Canon ATD is the fact that you can flip the screen so you can see yourself. Make sure the lighting is good, your head is not getting cut off, the actual composition looks great. It just saves so much time in the end. I have my microphone right here. It's pointed directly at my face so I can capture really good quality sound. And before I start recording, I will do a quick quick recording on the camera and on the mic just to make sure the lighting is I'm in focus and also I need to double check that the levels on the microphone are good if the levels are too high the sound will get distorted if they're too low it'll be just too quiet checking all of those little things prior to shooting is very important because that's how you save yourself time there's nothing worse than going through the entire thing and only then realize that there was something wrong whether it's a frame size or the microphone wasn't plugged in properly or wasn't at the right level because that's how you waste a lot of time in the process and we're all about working efficiently so let's get this video in the can and dusted with my first video that means I have two more to go I started filming at 11 30 a.m. right now it's 12 08 that means it took me 38 minutes to film one video which I think is really great because when I first started creating video content about four to five months ago it would take me about three hours to film one video so I think it's what an improvement. In order for me to be efficient, I work with a script. I have an outline for my video. I know exactly what to say, not exactly word by word, but I definitely have structure and outline. I have all of my tips laid out. If you are not prepared, you're just gonna end up wasting a lot of time. And that's the last thing you want if you are a busy working mama. Right now, I'm gonna take a little break. I'm gonna have some lunch, change my outfit and dive into filming video number two. Now I'm in a brand new outfit and we're gonna dive right into video number two. I'm gonna set up now and get to work. I have my camera in place. I have the set going. See, I'm literally filming in the same spot. I just shifted a little bit and I've created this set. I just pulled over my disc, put a few folders, grabbed a painting from the hallway and created a set. Still facing the same direction and I have a totally different backdrop. You can actually get very creative, move around the same space, use different props, different outfit and voila. It seems like it's a whole new day and it looks very different from your previous setup. I forgot to press record on my GoPro and record the time lapse on me filming the second video but anyways I'm all done with it all I need to do is change up my set a little bit change the outfit and record the last video I want to be done by 3 
hopefully I can stick to it but if I'm about 15 or 20 minutes late that's fine I am getting a little bit tired because filming actually takes a lot out of you it takes a lot of energy because you always have to record with very high energy levels to make sure the video is engaging the footage is engaging I have one more video to go it's home stretch I can get this in the can and I can get it done and then I'm going to feel great afterwards which is why I also like to do batch filming because that means I only need to do this once a month get myself in the right mind frame get things done forget about it for a month even though I'm probably going to be absolutely drained by the end of the day I am so happy I am doing this because I will thank myself later for that <music> I'm just about to film my final video. The only thing I've changed is my outfit and the artwork in the background. I have other things to do today and I really need to get a wiggle on and get this filming wrapped up. Rather than just changing everything, I just changed a couple of elements to make it slightly different. <music> It's quarter past three now. I filmed four videos in almost four hours. I feel really great. The time flew by. I was very productive and I got it done. I promised myself I would and I got it done. I'm right on track. I still have time to get my other work done, reply to my emails. The final step of today would be taking all of the SD cards, transfer the footage to my laptop and to my hard drive. It's important to remember that you will get better with practice. Right now I can smash out four long form videos in four hours. If I were to do that five months ago, it would be a totally different ball game. It would probably take me double the time. If you have been shying away from creating video content, it's not that hard. All you have to do is to have the right intention and be prepared. Then you can easily film four, five, six, twenty 20 videos if you really wanted to. If you want the entire filming process to go smoothly, then all you have to do is get yourself in the right mind frame when you start filming, have the right energy levels, the right mood, and you are up to the task. And most importantly, you have to be prepared. You have to have a plan, a script, or an outline. You have to know what you're doing and you have to have a really good visual idea for what you want your video to look like. But the main point is I don't have to worry about it for another month and I'm just gonna come back here at the end of March and fill my content for April. If you have any specific questions about my filming process then make sure you leave them in the comments below. If you found this video helpful then make sure you let me know by liking it, commenting and sharing it with a friend. Help me spread the word to inspire more content creators and entrepreneurs to pursue their passion, take action, and start working for their dreams. That's it for me for today. Make sure you don't forget to subscribe to my channel over here. And if you want to learn more about content creation, make sure you check out this playlist over here. Thank you so much for watching and I'll catch you later.